When I was growing up, the F word was fair. My mom hated it when my sister and I would say, that's not fair. Her response was always, life isn't fair. And that was that. End of conversation. Well, I hated it when my mom said that. I thought it was some kind of adult excuse to not even try for fairness. To this day, I almost never utter the phrase, that's not fair, because my mother successfully broke me of it. But even though I have kids of my own and work with children, I don't say life isn't fair either. You know when you're a kid and you say, when I grow up, I'm never going to do that. This was one of those things for me. And so far, I've kept that promise to my younger self. I have to admit that as an adult, I took some sadistic pleasure in my mother's story about a party she attended where she overheard a child at the party saying that something wasn't fair. She told this child, we didn't use the F word in my house. The child went to her parents and said, that lady said the F word to me. <laughs> this has led me to believe that life might be fair if you give it enough time. <laughs> A couple of summers ago, I was leaving my local library with my two-year-old daughter, Virginia, in the back seat. As we exited the parking lot, I heard her say, the cars, mama. The cars! I answered, yes, we share the road with other cars. It's okay for them to be here too. No, she said, they're all bleep. She didn't say bleep. She said the F word, the real one. <laughs> Although I sometimes have colorful names for other drivers, that one isn't my word of choice. I can't speak for my husband, though. <clears throat> I thought fast, and I remembered that my mom had already unknowingly prepared me to deal with this situation. My mom had told me that when I was a toddler, she had heard me saying, jerk, jerk, to every passing car. She had told me to call them clowns instead. I said, Virginia, if you really feel like you need to call the other drivers names, then call them clowns. You can say, where did you learn how to drive? In a clown car? She thought it was funny and called people clowns all the way home. But I didn't know if it would stick. The next week, Virginia went on an errand with her daddy. When they got home, my husband told me that Someone had been trying to exit from our apartment complex and was stopped at an angle that made it hard for him to get in. He pulled up next to this person and rolled down his window to give him a piece of his mind. After he got the window down, but before he could say anything, Virginia yelled from the back seat, you drive a clown car. <laughs> I was ready to give myself a gold star in parenting. Not only had I successfully trained my two-year-old not to curse without making a really big deal about it, but she was also acting as a positive influence on my husband. <laughs> the next time Virginia and I went to the library, she initiated another conversation with me as we left the parking lot. She said, Mama, I say clowns. I said, yes, Virginia, you say clowns. She said, and mama, you say clowns. I said, yes, Virginia, I say clowns. She said, mama, girls say clowns. Sure, I said, girls say clowns. Then she said, and boys say bleep. <laughs> I could say it just isn't fair that despite my best efforts, my daughter still said the F word. I could say that life isn't fair, but I think I'll give both 
a little more time. <laughs>